Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to create objects in Unity 3, 4, and 5. It's all the same at a certain position, at some prefab or transforms position. It's pretty simple, and this is how you do it. For this, we're going to need the instantiate function. What the instantiate function does, it gets an object um, that we're going to say which object, and we're going to use it as a prefab. And you can, you can, and you don't have to specify the position where you want it to spawn and we're going to do that using another prefab because it helped you know the actual coordinates where you want the object to spawn so instead you're going to place a game object somewhere and we're going to use that game object's position to spawn the other object you want to spawn so this is pretty simple to do you go we're going to create a c sharp script we're going to call it create object because that's the function of it and we're gonna go and we're going to sorry about that. We're gonna open it up. All right, so we're gonna uh, do this via triggers. So when you walk through something, when you walk through something, um, this the object is gonna spawn. So for that, we're gonna need an on trigger enter um, function. So we, you can delete this update. So instead of start, you're gonna type on trigger enter. But before all this, we're gonna need to specify the um, the prefabs we're gonna use. So the prefabs we're gonna use are first we're gonna make a uh, public. We're gonna make a, a transform, which is gonna be prefab, which is gonna be um, um, spawn point, and we're gonna make a public public game object. Uh, which is going to be the prefab we're, we're gonna spawn. So I forgot these two semicolons here. So um, this is the transform we're we're, just, we're gonna use as the position rotation. This is got this is the object we're gonna spawn. Sorry about that. So on trigger enter. All right. Um, here we're gonna type the script. So the main point when you enter the trigger that just means when you enter or go through the object that's the trigger this is gonna happen that we're gonna instantiate I gotta turn off my phone instantiate and how, as you can see it already tells us object dot object instantiate object original so object original is gonna be the, the game object so we're gonna create a prefab and we're gonna use the spawn Point dot position, and we're gonna use spawn point dot rotation, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. To be honest, um, it's not a very difficult script. It's pretty simple. You can add more things to it. For example, when the object spawns, it could be a rigid body, and you're gonna want it to fall off something, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and. Um, you can also add audio and um, to get the audio to play when the object spawns like once or more times but um, I usually do that in another script and for example you're gonna also want the object to get destroyed after spawning a couple of seconds which I'm also gonna do in another script and I'm gonna make different tutorials on that so an annotation will pop up and you can check that out alright so let's test this out go to unity so we're, we're gonna have to make a little trigger sorry about that Alright, so we're gonna have to make a little trigger. So the the cube, this little cube is gonna be our trigger. So let's name it trigger. Is trigger at the box player? Take that because it is indeed a trigger. I'm gonna move it a bit over here. All right, we're gonna add the create object script to it, and as you can see, it's it's it needs a spawn point and a prefab. So the prefab we're gonna spawn, we're gonna spawn a little rounded chair. It's it has just a green texture. It isn't textured. You can use whatever you want. Um, we're also gonna need a spawn point, which is going to be an empty game object, which has its transform. So spawn point. Be right back. So the spawn point is the empty game object, and you can move it to like uh, move the spawn point where you want the object to spawn. So I'm gonna. You have to make the spawn point a child object of the trigger. So I'm going to put the spawn point over here. It's not going to be exactly on it. It can be like this. You can fine tune it if you want. So yeah, uh, you usually want the triggers to take the mesh render so you can't see them. You can just walk up. The thing gets um, spawned. So now walk up. And oh, we got an error. 
the variable spawn point. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to put the the spawn point. So you just drag the spawn point at the spawn point, and uh, yeah, just play the game. Walk through it, and bam, there. Uh, um, a uh, chair spawned. So yeah, if you want to make the object fall, you're gonna have to use a rigid body. So the prefab, it's gonna be a rigid body. And also you're gonna have to declare a new thing that is going to actually be the thing that falls. So let me just clear that up. So we're gonna have to declare like a new type of variable. It's not actually a variable. So rigid body, um, for example, um, we can call it um, ri uh, rig rigid prefab to be the rigid rigid body prefab. So here you're gonna go off and type rigid prefab equals instantiate prefab etc. So so yeah, and on the end you're gonna have to type. Um, because a rigid prefab it's just it's a rigid body but this doesn't know that it's a rigid body so you just have to state at the end as rigid body so yeah that's that's pretty much it um, this is not an error of this code so let's try and do that so we're gonna have to go to the prefab that you want to spawn around the chair and um, I want you to add a rigid body to to your um, to your uh, I want you to add a rigid body to your object or prefab. And then you said trigger. It's all here. Let's check it out. Actually, one second. So it's all here. Let's check it out. But first, so it falls. We're gonna put the spawn point a bit up. So we're gonna see it falls. Bam, so here it falls. It's falling through the ground because um, it's a, uh, because it doesn't have a box collider. Um, let me just add a box collider. So just add a box collider if it already doesn't have one. And now it should fall because it doesn't have its own collider. So yeah, now it falls. The box collider is a bit off, so that's why it's floating, but yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions about this, you can type them in the comments and I'll try to answer my best to help you, but it's pretty simple, so you shouldn't have any problems with it. Uh, also, if you if the video helped you, uh, like it and subscribe. So thanks, see you in another video.